I'm Tahani. And I'm Michael Michelle. Welcome to the LOL Surprise House assembly video, Michael Michelle. Thanks. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be showing everybody how to assemble the LOL Surprise House step by step. You? Well, not me exactly. Building this house definitely requires adult supervision. Hi, girls. Are you ready to be the proud owners of an LOL Surprise House? Yeah! First, unpack your box and take out all of the wood pieces. Before you start building, make sure you have all the pieces by referencing the instruction manual. Yep, looks like we have everything. Don't forget, the LOL Surprise House also comes with over 85 surprises, including a mystery family. But that's for a different video. True. And unlike other houses that are made from cardboard and plastic, the LOL Surprise House is made out of real wood. It's so cool. It is. And the only tool you'll need to build your LOL Surprise House is a screwdriver. Tahani, you wanna help me by being in charge of the instruction manual? You got it. Pro tip, every house comes with instructions or you can download an updated instruction manual with photos at lolsurprise.com. Okay, we're gonna start by building the backyard patio. I'll supervise. We're going to need the A pieces and the piece labeled B. I've got the screws, which come with the house. Let's make it happen. Now we do the exact same thing for the other A piece on the other side of B. Very easy. Now we're gonna screw in the C piece to the A piece with two screws. Screw in the first side. As you can see, these holes are at the top. Now you can screw in the D piece. Excellent. And here's our D piece. I think I see a hot tub and a pool. We'll see. The D piece fits very nicely into the piece that we just made. Now we're going to attach the two screws into the holes in the back. I heart this backyard patio. Let's add two more screws underneath the base to secure it. Let's do it. Well, you'll do it. <laughs> the screws will go here and here. Thank you, Tahani. Now it's nice and secure. Looking good. That is good. Now we're done with the base for the backyard patio. Time to build the main house. Let's pick up pieces E and F. E is the side of the kitchen, and F is the floor of the kitchen and the floor of the living room. Tahani, how do you know which side goes where? Pro tip, when in doubt, check the box. Good idea. No, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. This black and white squared floor Totally goes with the kitchen. You're right. Now we need pieces I and H. H is the second floor. Letter I divides the bathroom from the bedroom. And you can tell which side goes where because of the marbling on the wall and the marbling on the floor of the bathroom. So I'm going to align these two holes with these two holes. Just like that. I'm going to use my screws to attach the two pieces together by aligning the holes. Oh, the bathroom goes on top of the kitchen. Got it. I'm securing E to H. Uh, to honey, can I go out and play? <laughs> sure. All beautiful things take time to build. Now, run along. Yes. See ya. Remember, make sure your holes are fully aligned on both sides. Now it's time for the V panel. That's the front bottom of the house. It takes three screws. And it fits very nicely right under the bottom of the house. It's the perfect fit. It's easy if you start with this screw right here. It helps give you some leverage. And screw number two, nice and tight as it seals the foundation. Lastly, screw number three. Next up is the G panel. On one side, we've got the kitchen, and on the other side, we've got the living room. I've got this one. I'm going to slide it into this groove. There's one on the bottom and one on the top. Just press it in, and we're good. Wow, the house is really coming together. It really is, looking good. Now it's time for the K panel. I'll hold the house to honey while you slide it in. Great job. Thanks. <laughs> I got the elevator out of the stuff box. It slides right onto the R panel. Ta-da! This is the top of the elevator shaft. Take the white bracket labeled number three and align the holes so that it fits right to the top of the elevator. Now take screw number two and put it right in. Now it's secure. Grab the S and T panels. This side faces up and this side faces down, just like this. The screw holes match the screw holes here. S and T go into the P panel with four screws. 
and you screw it in from the back. Then attach the elevator R panel onto the P panel, which can lean right against S and T. We have to make sure that our elevator lines up with the doors and the levels. Perfect. Again, I'm screwing it from the back. And screw number three. Now it's time to put our house together and stand up our elevator. Okay. If it feels a little heavy, you may need a friend to help you, but it looks like I have it today. And it goes into position just like this. Nailed it. This piece screws in with five screws. Three, four, and five. Okay. Now it's time to grab the cue panel. We're going to use three screws to secure it into place. Make sure the palm tree is facing upward. Our spiral staircase is in the same moving box labeled stuff. Each clear banister pops on the staircase just like this. So as you can see, there are different lengths. This is the top with the extended bar. This is the middle with no extended bars. And this is the bottom. You can tell because it has a different shape. And now we have our spiral staircase. Thank you, Tahani. Now I'm going to line up the bottom of the staircase with the two holes and push in. Now I'm going to take the cap off, which is part Z, but I'm going to hold on to it for later. Now it's time to finish the second floor. I have the L panel. We're just going to slide it in. It's bendable, so just work it in there and push down. Bam! Now grab your J and M panels and secure them. Make sure your patio lines up with the wall filled with green plants. Looks good. Now it's time to connect the spiral staircase to the third floor and secure it with six screws. Securing the third floor. On this side, look for a screw in here. For the last screw, you have to move the elevator down to reveal the screw hole. Now put your staircase cap back. You may have to feel around for a little bit to get a perfect fit. Next is the oak panel. It finishes the back of your closet space. The end panel is the helipad. The U panel is next. I'm going to make sure it's in the right direction. There's an arrow indicating up. Now we're going to secure it with 10 screws. In the stuff box, there's number four that looks like an L. There's also the X and Y railings to the patio. They go in like this. Day or night? The sun is shining on this house. Let's go with day. Let's do it. In the box labeled stuff, there are two windows that pop in. And here is the second one. Easy peasy. Now let's decorate the outdoor pool patio from the outdoors box. Oh my gosh! We have the state of the heart pool and the state of the heart hot tub. and our sandbox for our pets. Your backyard patio fits under your house and is easily accessible with these two holes like this. And it really holds water. Oops. That's okay. The backyard patio is waterproof. But if you do get water on the patio, make sure to wipe it up right away so the graphics don't bubble. I've got it. If they do bubble, don't worry. Once the water goes away, they'll go back to its original form. Good to know. For added security, I'm going to show you how to mount your LOL surprise house to a wall. I'll let you handle this one. I'm going to go join Michael Michelle. Have fun. Thanks. There's a pre-drilled hole in the back of your closet for your mount. You'll find the wall mount hardware in a plastic package inside the box with all of your wood pieces. In addition, you'll need a screwdriver, a power drill, a quarter inch drill bit, and I have a pencil for marking. Tighten this plastic strip into the back side of your LOL surprise house with a screw and a large washer. On the inside, now use a wrench to tighten up the screw with a small washer and a nut. Now we're gonna secure the other end of the plastic strip 
to the wall. Measure the house against the wall and mark where you want to attach the strip. Use a quarter inch drill bit to drill a pilot hole into the wall, preferably into a stud. If you're not drilling into a stud, use a quarter inch drill bit to drill the hole and use the anchor provided. If you are drilling into the stud, use a drill bit that's smaller than the screw. If you aren't attaching the house to a stud, tap the plastic anchor into the hole. Secure the house with a wood screw and a small washer using a screwdriver. There, it's time to put this house on the market by building our for sale sign. Voila, girls, come check it out. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, we made that. <gasps> That's amazing. It's Great. so cool. I hope this video makes building your LOL surprise house a little bit easier. And now we can unbox our furniture and move in. Tahani, I have a great idea. Let's do an unboxing video all about this LOL house. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.